Hello and uh, welcome back to Crochet at My House. So today's video is all about Aldi yarn. If you don't know, here in the UK, Aldi's had yarn in last Sunday and I got a few balls to show you. And I'm going to go into e detail with all the different types because I got a fair mixture and I just thought you might want to see what they had. So I think I will start with the one I've only got one of, which is this. This is Rainbow Yarn Earth. And it is 100 grams, 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And as you can see, it's got greens, blues and greys kind of reminds me of like a river maybe with some moss and stuff around it it is quite pretty i only got one of these don't know what it'll get used for but that is that yarn and i've got four more balls of the same sort of small cake. So this one is ombre yarn, lilac pink. And here you can see it has variations of pink and purple, starting with a really light pink, getting to a darker pink and then changing to purple. And it's 100 grams as well and it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. I've got four of these ones. So that's the four of those. Of course, I'll pop in pictures so you can see the different shades better because, of course, they don't always show up very well on camera here. Sometimes they get a little bit washed out. But what can you do with cameras? Moving on, this will probably be the most common yarn you'll find here in the UK. It is double knit yarn or DK weight yarn. It is super common and very basic, but everyone can use this. You'll find DK yarn in almost any yarn shop and of course in Aldi's when they have yarn. This yarn here is caramel and it's not quite a solid colour. It's a light caramel colour but it's also got light flecks in it. It's quite pretty. And this is again 100 grams but it's also 100% acrylic. So there's caramel. Also have cream which is quite nice. This is definitely more of a solid colour than the caramel is. And lastly, we have the red, which to me is kind of pinkish. But I still like it. It's very pretty. So that's that one. And got quite a few balls of those. Got two caramel, two cream and four of the red. They also had thicker yarns in, as in heavier weights. And the first type is baby yarn, right here, which is like baby blanket style yarn. This is the colour green. And this is 100 grams and 100% polyester. And it's a very light kind of sea foam kind of green. Then we have blue, which is very light as well. This is a kind of sky blue. And lastly, we have blue-green stripes. And this has the blue and the green that I already showed you in it. But it also has some purple. And I actually have an idea for this baby yarn. I'm thinking it might be nice to make a poncho out of it. 
because it'd be nice and cozy and I just really like the colours. So that's those. And I got three of each colour because again, I'm wanting to make a poncho and I wanted to have enough to make it because with Aldi's yarn, if you don't get enough, straight away you're not likely to get more of it later on because they only bring in their yarn once in a while they do a whole batch of colors and then the next time they bring yarn in it's usually different colors different yarn weights all that sort of thing next is the other type of chunky yarn they had which is also funny enough as i say chunky yarn called chunky yarn so this is sugar pink and you can see it is super bright pink and this is 100 grams and 100% acrylic and it kind of reminds me of rope you know the way it's twisted together so there's that color then there is peach which is kind of a light orangey color and then lastly, there's Lemon, which is a really bright yellow. Very pretty. So that's all of the yarns from Aldi this time. I hope you enjoy watching. And if you see a yarn that you like, that you hopefully manage to get a hold of some before all the Aldi stores are out of that type of yarn. Um... If you're ever looking for Aldi's yarn, just keep an eye out. You can look at their leaflets in, in store, you know, when you're leaving, they usually have leaflets sitting. You can look in those. The other way to keep an eye out for yarn is to go online and check if they're going to have yarn in. I usually grab the leaflets because I'm in Aldi's pretty regular. I mean, most people shopping around in Aldi's. It's a good place for groceries and everything. But that's how I usually keep an eye on when yarn is coming in. So remember and like, comment, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications every time I put up a video.